again, the cornerstone of all of this is to provide educational value so that our end user can be artistic with our devices. You know, one thing I love about Cyton, which really differentiates us from a lot of these other technologies out there is, is we're ready for the beginner, but tunable for the graduate. And that's why, you know, I think some, some ridiculous, like over 90% of the devices we've ever built over our, over our existence are still clinically relevant and in use today. Hello and welcome back to the Technology of Beauty, where I have the opportunity to interview the movers and shakers of the beauty business. And today is certainly no exception. Today I have my great friend Robbie Brindley here in the studio. Thank you, Robbie. He is the Executive Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Cyton, simply the Bentley of lasers. Thank you for coming in to see us today. Did you fly in from Florida or where'd you come yeah, in it, from? It's, first off, it's an honor to be here, Grant. Um, this is someone who's grown up in the industry. This is just like uh, I'm very, very grateful for this opportunity. Uh, flew in from West Palm Beach. Yeah. Well, flew first in. of all, I'm very grateful for you coming. I've been wanting to interview you for so long, and I have the wonderful opportunity to work with you at Saiton. As I mentioned, I, I refer to it always as the Bentley of lasers, and uh, we'll get to know you better, but thank you for making the effort and coming all the way out to Manhattan Beach. I hope you're going to have a great time and stay more than just today. Oh, absolutely. Okay, cool. So... Uh, let's go all the way back. All right. Where'd you grow up? We'll start with that. Yeah, so I, I obviously know it. I'm coming in from West Palm, but uh, born and raised in the Midwest. So Which means? I spent the bulk of my life in Minnesota. That's where Ooh, I, I, that's like where I, I cut my teeth. Uh -huh. and, Did uh, you go to high school there? Went to Eden Prairie High School. Uh -huh. Went to Eden Prairie High School, but yeah. I was born in Northern Iowa. Okay. Went to college in Wisconsin Madison and grew up in Minnesota. So whenever whenever anybody asks me where I'm from, I always say, you know, I live in West Palm Beach, but I'm absolutely uh, a Minnesotan. Yes, Midwestern guy, absolutely. Midwestern values. That's the truth. Well, as you know, my special partner Aaron grew up also in Minnesota. Oh, yep. Probably just down the road from you. We were actually high school rivals. Ah, is yeah. that right? Yeah, where she went to school. What was the name of her high school? Uh, Bloomington Jefferson. Bloomington, that's yep. right. Yep. Absolutely. Well, no wonder we get along uh, There so you well. go, right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and my grandmother is from Racine, Wisconsin. All right. Not far oh, from where you grew up. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah, Madison is a... Oh, I love Madison. And in fact, I'm going to bring my leadership team there in the summer for our, um, our half annual... Well, let huddle. me know when you do it. Yeah, let me know. I will. Yeah, I will. I have a lot of friends from Madison. I went to school in this Wisconsin. So, what'd you major in in college? You know, in college, I was in pre-law. Yeah. So we call it behavioral science and law. It was the Bachelor of Arts program. Uh -huh. uh, but you know, basically, wanted to get there, learn, and kind of get into pre-law. So I was going down the path of pre-law, and I'll never forget this, uh, the moment, it, close to graduation, called my father, and I said, you know, Pop, um, looking at getting into law school, and he said, you know, Robbie, uh, I'd love for you to, to, to consider working for me and selling uh, with me in, at our distributorship, which is Brindley and Associates. Okay. And the rest is history. You know, from that moment, uh, I had the opportunity. This was about 2001. I'm going to date myself here, but, okay. you know, uh, I had the opportunity to grow up in aesthetics and grow up in particular with an emphasis in aesthetic capital technology, lasers, microdermabrasion, you name it. And the whole, the whole kind of history and how it all came together, I'll never forget this. I was sitting in the office with my father, my desk here, his there, and he got a call. And I hear him chatting away, and he, le he leans over, he muffles the phone, and you know, at this time we were exceedingly busy, very, very busy with our product lines, but he says, hey, talking to this guy about this opportunity with a company called Cyton, and it's run by uh, a Jim Hobart who started Coherent Medical. Uh, Robbie, what do you think about this? What, should, should we, you know, sh should I check it out? And I kind of looked at him, I'm like, well, you know, Dad, I." Sure, sounds like a great idea. And long story short, did you know Hobart? Or you know, coherent, and you had you grown up in lasers at all? At the time, just just a couple of years in, no, I, I didn't have that level of a kind of okay. A, I'm just a, curious of awareness if you knew at the that point. Of Hobart exactly. calling about that. that's a yeah. big deal. And obviously, Jim, one of the modern founders of uh, laser, laser medicine, aesthetics. absolutely. And and so, 
it's kind of neat because you know aesthetics have changed over over time and in particular with sales organizations today you can see a lot of younger a younger generation kind of coming in and driving it back then it wasn't the way that wasn't that way uh, you typically had people that were more seasoned and established in distribution that were really leading the curve of you know kind of getting aesthetic technology into the hands of providers and especially lasers mm -hmm. and so pop went to Midway Airport and interviewed and got the job now now what job did he get then he, at that point? he became a area sales manager for Minnesota and the surrounding vicinity. So you had the Dakotas, Iowa, Wisconsin. For Cyton. For Cyton. For Cyton. And what Cyton didn't realize though was that my dad was exceedingly busy and this product line was gonna be given to his 22 year old kid. <laughs> That's great. All right? And, okay. You know, and, and from there, you know, we got our footing in, in, in the Midwest and in Minnesota and we did really, really, really well. And we really built the reputation on um, our family name and just who we were and the character we were as individuals. But over time, it turned into a career opportunity where I'm proud to say I've held every position in the sales organization at Cyton, uh, starting with my dad as a territory manager. Uh, and then in 2006, I had an opportunity to get into a, a management position or, you know, in Cyton, we really don't like the M word. In fact, Hobart has a fine if you use the M word because we're not managers, we're leaders. And so I had the opportunity to get into a leadership position in 2006. And I held that leadership position for a decade okay. uh, before um, Dan Negus and Jim Hobart, our two founders, yep. offered me a position as a vice president in North American sales which was uh, you know, a very, very special moment in time and, and uh, something that I'll, I'll just never forget how that all came together. And you're now also on the board of directors, correct? Oh, goodness, yeah. There, <laughs> I sure am. And you work I alongside sure of Aaron, yeah. Aaron Burton, who has been on this program. Yeah, Aaron Burton is our CEO. Uh -huh. And um, what Aaron's done at Cyton and how he's led this company and, and led uh, our culture forward is I can't even I, I can't even do it justice to say how many nice things he's done um, to to take us from being a, a passionate family business to a oh just a juggernaut that's really leading the aesthetic sector when it comes to lasers and, and, and medicine. Uh, but at that time, you know, working with Aaron and in as a part of our board of directors it was actually a funny story with that. Uh, it was a review. It was an annual review a number of years ago. And Aaron, we were in January, and we had a great year. And he said, you know, Rob, what do you want to be in the future? Kind of what are your goals? And I said, you know, one of my goals is, is, to, uh, is to win the lottery <laughs> and buy Cyton <laughs> and become a member of the board of directors. Uh -huh. And I threw that out there. And, and lo and behold, a year later, at our annual meeting, our global, tail, our global sales meeting, uh, it was a big, big, big surprise. Uh, at the very end, Aaron, Jim, and Dan are on stage, and they pulled me on stage and said, you know, congratulations, and we want to, uh, you know, welcome you to the board. And, oh, my um, goodness. It was, That's huge. Yeah, I get a what little, year was that? Oh, gosh. It's, like, it's about three years ago, about three years ago now. And it was. And uh, I didn't know that until I, I just read I, your LinkedIn. I, I lost it. Oh, I, I'm sure I lost you did. it on stage, and you know, tears of joy, tremendous emotion. But you know, I, that really speaks to Saiton in terms of how we operate. Boy, I'll say. We are a people first company. Uh, you know, we're we're we're, we're our, our people are our everything, and from our people, uh, we've created and given you know basically brought forward a culture that is just really special and unique, especially in the face of uh, the industry that we operate. Mm -hmm. You guys are head and shoulders above all the other laser companies, even though the number of them are still my friends. Oh, but yeah. Your culture is amazing. It's second to none. Um, and putting people first. I always say that lasers are hand-stitched. 
Oh yes. And there's made nothing like going to the, the factory, the plant where these Cyton devices are made. And we'll get into that a little bit. Yeah. But first I wanna go back to something that I think you started mm. and that's the rock stars of aesthetics. Oh, Wasn't yes. that your baby initially? You know what? Uh, what? I, I will say that it was actually, there's uh, one of my teammates, um, we call him Mikey V. He came up with this concept in the pandemic. Okay. and the rock stars of aesthetics. Okay, now I just want to let everybody know, he's, this is the rock star of aesthetics right here. When you see him on stage with the music pounding and he jumps on that stage and he's dancing around and everybody's up, it's like a rock concert and an evangelical uh, 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 meeting. It's mm. unbelievable. Mm. If you ever have a chance to go to a rock star of aesthetics event, Whatever city that they're in, you you deserve to do it. Now, tell us about the rocks, uh, the rock stars of aesthetics. Oh, so we initially started as rock stars of aesthetics. We launched it in the pandemic when it was only virtual. Okay. And then once we actually got out to a point where people were really hungry for live events and hungry to get back in person, we rebranded it as the rock star experience. Okay. But we call it edutainment. <laughs> we call it edutainment, and it's really a perfect synergy and a blend of education and entertainment value. And I just, over my tenure, 20 years in, in this industry, you know, like you, I've been to every show. Mm -hmm. I've been to the sure. all the shows, <laughs> uh, kept a keen eye in terms of what's happening on the competitive landscape for live events and, and you name it. And we really wanted to come up with something that enabled us to provide tremendous value to our customers, tremendous value to the market and the industry, but doing so in a format where you could let your guard down, you could have fun, you can dance, you can sing, you can get after it, but really when we have 13 of the best minds in you know, uh, cosmetic medicine, aesthetic medicine, plastic surgery, cosmetic dermatology, medical spas, the business of beauty, we have 13 speakers that come to the Rockstar Experience and they put forward tremendous content. Now, when you have so much content, it can really make people, uh, it's, it's a lot. Yes. So the best way to help people learn and to help people absorb all of that is fun. It's fun. That's the entertainment piece. That's the entertainment piece. That's where the edutainment piece comes in because if you kind of look at what's happening in the industry, and that's one of our premier goals is to put forward the best live, uh, live value-driven experience or live educational experience in medicine, but if you really look at what's happening in the industry, I think it goes one of two ways. You've got uh, in, in, in certain, certain camps, you have tremendous entertainment Cirque du Soleil, fire breathers, but the educational value, candidly, is, is, yeah. isn't quite there. Yeah. And then you may be at a complete snooze fest where you're learning a lot, but it's just, it's, it's traditional and it's, it's, it's dated. So what we've done here is just, we have a ton of fun. Uh, have a, we have a DJ, a house DJ that yep. goes to every event. And candidly, any meeting that we do at Saiton has a DJ, whether it's a global team meeting for our, our people, whether it's a rock star experience for our customers and, and, and prospects. We always have a DJ and why? because music is what it's all about. As, as many of the senses as we can capture on that weekend mm -hmm. to the delight of our attendees is what we go for. So we make it interactive, we make it fun, and uh, and it's just, it's a celebration, a celebration of Saiton. So it's not just one, one night or one day. Tell everybody what a typical uh, Rockstar Experience weekend looks like. Okay, a typical weekend is we welcome our guests on Saturday morning you know, like everybody, good food. Kick it off with a ton of hype. It's, you know, we, we want the introduction to the event to really set the tone for the energy. And as the MC of the event, uh, working with our amazing marketing team that pulls all of these cool little details together, but it's my obligation, it's my responsibility, it's my duty to keep the energy levels high. So we keep it exceedingly interactive with all of our all of our guests. And so over the course of the day on Saturday, we will have about eight different speakers. We'll have panels. We will have um, uh, uh, open open engagement. But the nice thing too is we're actually gonna use it as a, as a foundation where we're gonna start to do live filming for our laser chat series. Ooh, interesting. And 
we should get you on that. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. But well, so. I've been to some of them, as you know, and I've had the good fortune of speaking at some of them, and I they're they're like nothing uh, I can possibly re- believe. It's fantastic, and then we really just like Saturday we have a, a a big party, a lot of fun, but a lot of unique themes because whenever we do our events, we want to create an immersive experience for our guests to leverage their social media platforms uh, with our brands, and so very very unique set design or you know brand design at every single every single show and right now our actual theme for the party is jordans and jerseys so that's something where we'll have a wall with custom sneakers all rock starred out saiton branding saiton you know merchandise it's it's really taken a life of its own and uh, the, the again the cornerstone of all of this is to provide educational value so that our end user can be artistic with our devices you know one thing i love about Cyton, which really differentiates us from a lot of these other technologies out there is is we're ready for the beginner but tunable for the graduate and that's why, you know, I think some some ridiculous, like over 90% of the devices we've ever built over our, over our existence are still clinically relevant and in use today. And it's fun because, you know, the surgeon has tools. And when the surgeon's not using those tools, that same device can be wheeled into the room of a provider who yep. can do, you know, amazing things for skin quality and, and you know, glowing, healthy, beautiful skin. Well, full disclosure, I have been the recipient also, <laughs> not just the provider, <laughs> of numerous halos and uh, numerous BBLs. And why don't you actually share, well, I, we can't go through every oh, sure. product yes, you have, yes. but share with, uh, with our guests, I mean our, our viewers and, and so forth, share a little bit about, let's say, BBL or maybe BBL Hero, uh, a hero yeah. Um, and maybe the idea not of turning back the clock sure. and, and so sure. forth. Sure. Not everybody's heard this story. Sure, so absolutely. Why don't you share that with everybody. So, broadband light or BBL, not to be confused with Brazilian butt lift, but <laughs> broadband light is one of our foundation technologies. And you know what's interesting when it comes to sales and when it comes to lasers in particular, nobody sells the third best laser. Everybody's the fastest, the most powerful, the you name it. But I can sit here with complete confidence and tell you that within the light-based category, there's nothing like BBL and we are in a whole nother league compared to alternatives. And it has to do with our our passion and our design elegance, which comes from our, our R&D think tank in Palo Alto, comes from Dan, comes from Jim, uh, comes from an amazing, amazing uh, engineer, Rick Menefee. But when we developed BBL, we developed it to be the best pulse light device in the category. And I think that really speaks to Cyton. We're never the first rooster to crow, but what we do in terms of creating new fad technology, but we keep a close eye on uh, established technology that our customers, our doctors and physicians wish to offer, Mm -hmm. and then we make it the best. And in the case of BBL, you know, that's a product that we've been delighting um, patients with for 15 years. And during the pandemic, we actually launched BBL Hero, which stands for High Energy Rapid Output where the cooling, the, the, rep, the, 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 the speed at which it operates or hurts um, is in a whole nother league for treating full bodies head to toe. How about the roller technology? Exactly, in a moment, in, 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 in the blink of an eye. And I really see that as, as a huge, huge um, category of opportunity for us for the future. You know, when people have beautiful glowing skin uh, from their chin up, They want to take that skin to the rest of their body. Now, the reality is, is while everybody says they can treat the body, many of these devices work very slow, um, have some discomfort and or morbidity associated with them where it's not applicable to a very, very widespread patient base. But with technology like Hero, you have the opportunity to open up full body rejuvenation for healthy, glowing skin from head to toe uh, for pretty much you know the majority of the marketplace. And the nice thing with that is, is if you can treat full arms in minutes, I'm mm-hmm. not kidding you, minutes versus an hour or Same plus. Same legs and the back. Legs, back. F- f- and yep. you're not stamping. Nope. Every other IPL I've ever had, and I've had many IPLs, 
It's stamp, stamp, stamp. And so oftentimes you either have overlap or you have gaps. And so you see the line of yep. the stamp. Yep. And not only is it take an hour, but the results uh, are, are compromised because of the stamping. With this roller technology, it's you, unbelievable. You, you, it's quick. Yep. It works, and you don't have the stamping no, defects. No, no. You just step, amazing. step on the pedal, and it fires at such a high rep rate at the perfect energy level with the perfect wavelength. So that really, for treating red red browns and and you know uh, creating beautiful, beautiful, healthy, glowing skin, there's there's nothing like it. And you know, our commitment within that segment is to continue to innovate. Uh, we will not let go of our position as kind of the premium leader within light-based delivery. And um, I think what we're doing with light and Cyton's approach is a more, we, we take a scientific approach to everything we do uh -huh. in medicine. And, and truly, if it's not something that we know is going to work exceedingly well, we're not going to do it. Uh-huh no matter what the device hype is or what the excitement is in the market sector, until we have the technology at a position where we know it's gonna be reliable and reproducible from an outcome standpoint, we don't, we don't play in that sandbox. Do you play at all in the non-surgical fat reduction sandbox? You know, that's something that uh, I always talk to Jim about this. I'm like, we need to get um, get a, a dog in this race, so to speak, but not yet, yeah. not yet. But who knows, maybe there'll be a day where Saiton gets its brand power behind something that is, is unique and differentiated from what else is out there. You primarily use laser and light-based technologies. Do you use radio frequency or ultrasound or other energy-based, non-light-based? We have so much on the bench right now. It's the fun thing within our work, kind of our, we call it Santa's uh, workshop, if you will. <laughs> uh, there's so many different technologies that, that we're working with. But right now, our legacy truly is skin. You know, we have a, we have a saying, uh, Saiton owns skin. So truly, if you are a practitioner that is passionate about skin, that loves treating skin, and it, it, you need a Saiton. Because that is our <laughs> bread, butter, and milk. And really what you see now, especially with some of our, our other brands, you know, with Halo, Halo came forward and truly some, truly established us in, ter is in terms of a major player in, with a brand commodity. Mm -hmm. And I could, I could tell a whole story about this, but it was really, really fortunate in that if I rewind back in the time when we released Halo, um, goodness sakes, about 12, 13 years ago, at that time, we truly wanted to have a non-ablative fractional laser with minimal downtime right. because we really wrote our entire legacy. Prior to BBL, we had our resurfacing line of options with our 2940 um, tunable erbium laser. Okay, so obviously you can do really deep things mm -hmm. or you can tune it to be light, but we needed to move into what patients really want, which is minimal to no downtime experiences with meaningful impact and meaningful results. Well, when we created Halo, we took, we did, we, it, was a, it was an engineering feat um, in that we took two wavelengths and, and multiplexed them, meaning they fired into the same channel pretty much near the same time. So we had our 2940 traditional Erbium wavelength along with the 1470 non-ablative wavelength and we hybridized it. And that's why, that's what coined the term, uh, and we're proud to have coined the term hybrid fractional laser. But when we launched Halo, we had no idea that the synergy of these two wounds not only would give the patient, you know, a meaningful, uh, uh, a meaningful response, but that it had true corrective capacity with minimal to no downtime. And we absolutely love that. And at the time we got really lucky because the brand giant um, Fraxel was acquired by a billion dollar pharmaceutical company and that really changed their priorities. Mm -hmm. So just by, just by complete coincidence, we launched Halo at that time. Halo then took the title as the premium solution, fractional based solution for uh, rejuvenating the skin. I remember when this happened. Yeah, right? I had two Fraxels. I remember when this happened. And uh, when I first heard the, th the thought that you were going to drive two different wavelengths through the same hole, 
if you will, yep. a, one ablative, one non-ablative. Yep. And I can remember who called and told me it was Dr. Jay Burns. Yep. Yep. And I yep. said, there is no way you could put two different wavelengths to that same channel, one ablative, one non-ablative, and tell me it's going to be minimal downtime yep. with, a, with a great result. Yep. He said, Grant, you got to trust me. It really is. And I remember getting my first halo, uh, both receiving as a patient yep. as well as purchasing yep. it from you. Yep. And never look back. It's it's crazy good. It, it's It's been such a winner. And it established us and created a priority moving forward. Where at Cyton, it's not just about making the best technology that money can buy, but creating technology that has powerful consumer-facing branding behind it. Mm -hmm. And it's unique. And, and it's it's in, unique. There's in, nothing on the market that's even close no, to it. No, no. And so still to this day, I, I often challenge people because, you know, if you want the best point of sale experience or if you want an opportunity for your pers prospective patients and current patients to receive, you know, or education about the service and what it, what it, what it offers, you won't spend 10 minutes researching Halo on the internet. It's not even gonna be a day or a week. You could spend months with how much organic activity we have from bloggers, from celebrities, from you name it. People are very passionate about Halo as a proven brand and a proven option mm -hmm. for, um, for corrected skin with minimal to no downtime. And and the other thing, you can combine it with BBL, which is my favorite. Start with the BBL oh, yes. and then do the halo. Yes. It's, it's a one-two It's a heck punch. of a treatment, treatment oh, stack. Oh, my word. It is a it's beautiful, beautiful treatment stack. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you know, it's fun. It's fun to see how we can mix and match. And we actually created a brand called Cyton Stacks for all of our combination therapies so that our customers could differentiate themselves from, oh, you know, the myriad of other providers out there that are offering combination therapies, but knowing that it's coming from a, a premium device that's the, uh, again, the best that money can buy. Yep. Yeah. The Bentley of lasers. The Bentley of lasers. <laughs> and you know, maybe I'm gonna give you credit for this next piece, but at Cyton, it's really what we're doing in, in, is we're pioneering the luxury brand segment within laser medicine. And back in the day, this wasn't, you know, before we had our, our kind of our brand position, you didn't necessarily want it to be known as the luxury brand laser. Why? Because you're more expensive. Sounds like too much more money. More expensive. All right. Exactly. Well, fast forward to where we are today. Everybody knows uh, luxury sells. People want luxury tequila, luxury champagne, luxury handbags, luxury cars, luxury, you name it. Everybody wants to associate and be able to offer or own the best brands that money can buy and so that's our commitment and that's truly the prospective patients that are considering devices like Cyton they have the opportunity to know that what they're receiving is the best of the best for their skin and I really love the evolution because you know when people really didn't know lasers well and when brands didn't really pop you would go to your trusted surgeon you go to the Grant Stevens yeah. brand <laughs> and you'd recommend these, this is what you mm -hmm. want. Uh -huh. Well, as we move forward, patients want to know, okay, I'm going to see, you know, uh, my trusted surgeon or my trusted dermatologist or my trusted, you know, medical spa, but I want to make sure they're driving a Maserati. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just not going to take the word for it that this is the best. So we've really gotten a lot of tremendous organic patient growth for our providers and our and, and our customers through uh, through our branding and it's something we're we're very committed to and and, and super proud of uh, because at today's day and age there's tons of commodities out there and you know the problem with commodities is then you attract uh, a more competitive patient where price matters and when you have an opportunity to have a one-of-a-kind luxury brand offering to the patient, they can feel good about it. And then you can also capture um, a, very, uh, a very healthy treatment return that is completely worth it for, uh, for the patient and, and their skin. And then it breeds loyalty? Yes. And someone like, something like BBL, where you come in even three times a year, even four times a year, Yep. and then you put them on a subscription. Yes. And you have people coming in, it's about skin health. And yes. that loyalty uh, based on that premium brand is, is what drives a practice success. Yes. Uh, yes. So coupling with Cyton has really changed my own and our own success. I've had many lasers. My first laser I did was in 1983. 
a port wine laser, port wine uh, stain. I mean, it was a, a pulse laser, pulse dye for a port wine stain, 1983. Is and I purchased a full field, fully ablative CO2 from Sharpland okay, in 1994. Yep. yep. And have had countless lasers. Uh, at one point, we went around and I had 38 wow. lasers at one point. <laughs> wow. In, in, and, and energy based. That included uh, my, my nine Celtics for the cool sculpting. But I certainly have done a lot of lasers. You're a pioneer. I, there's no question yes. I've loved it. I remember. Dr. Uh, Harvey Zerum, the chairman at UCLA of Plastic, God rest his soul, God bless that man. He was a mentor of mine, and he called me one day when I was teaching CO2 lasers in 1996 or seven um, <clears throat> here, and he called me, and with his gruff voice, he said, Grant, you're a plastic surgeon. You're not a dermatologist. <laughs> you're to use a scalpel. What's this laser stuff you're doing? <laughs> and I said, Dr. Zerum, and he was a dear friend, and I said, Dr. Zerm, I promise you, one day you'll put down your scalpel and you'll oh, use wow. energy-based technologies to rejuvenate the skin. And, uh, and back in the 90s, there weren't many plastic surgeons uh, uh, adopting mm -hmm. laser-based technology, laser aesthetics. It was frowned upon, frankly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And now look at it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's just it's it's a, so it's, different. It's become a standard of care. It is a standard of care, all yeah. the way to the point of standard of skin health. With yeah. BBL, oh, yes. I, as you yeah. mentioned, it's like dental cleaning. Yeah. And oh, you yeah. just remind me, I'm down here for the show, and i am be here for a while, and I'm thinking, can I get into my office and get a BBL from Justin before I go back up to Sun Valley? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you just, when yeah. you said dental clean, because I'm getting my teeth clean, yeah. I'm thinking, yeah. can I jump in and get a BBL? So I hope I can. Get your glow on. Grant, is it okay if I do something a little bit different? Sure, go ahead. All right. Um, you know, one of our newest features at the Rockstar Experience is our Jordans and Jerseys theme party. And then people that see Saiton and our team and our culture, we rock Jordans and sneakers with everything. Uh, nice suits, casual wear, you name it. And the party's a lot of fun, but I know you're going to be on the stage soon for Rockstar. So I wanted to welcome you to the family, uh, the Rockstar family, with this. Oh, and my. These dropped... Just last week, um, I, I unfortunately didn't win them in the drop, but I did. I did know a place where I could grab these. these Whoa! Are the, uh, white cement reimagined Jordan threes. Uh, my favorite pair. They're super, super comfortable. But this new style is uh, everybody's talking about. Oh, thank you so yeah, much. Well, you're welcome. I appreciate it. I can't wait to wear these on stage with a suit or a sport coat. Oh, these are fantastic. Well, Thank you so much, Robbie, and to all you guys at Saiton. No, no Saiton sure fantastic. appreciates you. Thank you. Wow. Not bad, huh, guys? <laughs> well, it's been an absolute pleasure, Robbie. It's I, an honor. I, I could, we could do this for an hour more easily or hours. We're friends. We're colleagues. I, I'm so blessed to work with you and Aaron and the whole team at Saiton. I want to thank you for coming. Thank you. Um, thank you. And being our guest, my friend, uh, travel safely back to Florida. And I look forward to seeing you at the next meetings that we're at and, and hopefully a rock star event. Yeah, no, we're going to make it happen. Okay, brother. Great day. Thank you.